What's up, folks? Welcome to the Trump Rally YouTube video lecture fan. We're gonna vlog it today. I'm going to the Trump Rally in Billings, Montana. He's rallying for Matt Rosendale against John Tester. That's what the big race is here in Montana. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be bigger than that, though, obviously. Um, since it's Trump, he's gonna be talking to the country as a whole and everywhere else, so it's gonna be huge. I'm gonna try to get as much of it on video. I think I'll probably just run the camera pretty much the whole time, we'll see. They said you can bring cameras, but just no detachable lenses. So that's why I think it's gonna be cool. So let's do it. Yeah, so it's interesting. A little bit of context for the Trump rally is that right now the Kavanaugh confirmation hearings are going on. And I was listening to some Democrat from Hawaii question Kavanaugh and Kavanaugh giving answers. And these, these confirmation hearings are just chances for these senators to talk nonstop. I mean, you can listen to these confirmation hearings sometimes for 30 minutes and only listen to senators talk, not even hearing from the nominee. So it's kind of funny. But anyway, we drove down. It's 88 degrees out. It's 325. The doors are just now opening. They said they'd open at 325. So I got parked a little bit farther away. That's the, but that is the arena right there. Can't see because my windshield is absolutely full of bugs. We'll, we'll bust out right here and just walk down to the arena. Oh, we must have a Trump supporter right here. Red hat. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool that they let you bring in cameras as long as there's no telescopic lens. Trump rally, baby. Let's do it. People selling gear outside of it. Nice hat. Thanks. Yeah. That's for when he was running for president. Seriously? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you get it? Did you order off the internet or what? Um, actually, my son did for Christmas. Cool. Christmas after he was elected. Nice. Here uh, for his rally here when he was running. Cool. Yeah, I bought one of my friends. I bought a Make America Great Again hat for him, and it was as a gift. And he said it was the best present he ever got. Yeah. Open that up. And I know it's probably just dreaming. It should be nice to get him to autograph it. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> look at the look at these protesters. Well, they don't even know what the hell they're they're <laughs> protesting about. Against corruption, against Trump. <laughs> what? What the heck? Who are these guys? They're having a gun show right there, which is nice. For what? Senator Tester to confirm Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court? I would, but... They'll hit you up I'm... again in line, don't worry. Okay, I'm just hoping he doesn't win. <laughs> well, I'm hoping Kavanaugh gets confirmed first. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. isn't that the truth? Okay, too. Here, yeah. I'll sign it. VIP, VIP. Trump Pence VIP baby. All right, folks. So this is the VIP check-in right here. I just checked in. VIP baby. Trump Trump Pence rally VIP. What's up? This credential is non-transferable, revocable license. Credentials may be revoked. Paid for by Donald J. Trump for President Inc. Trump Pence rally with Donald J. Trump, President of the United States, VIP. All right, I just met a woman who said she's here because she loves the Constitution. Her husband is Robert Brown. He, he wrote a book called The Solution is a Constitution or something like that. And she's down there. You can see her, the tall, tall one in the black shirt and jeans. And she's collecting signatures for petitions. One, there's one for as a pro-life petition that is just like one sentence. It says we support life, pretty much. And then another one was for um, to c try to convince Tester to vote yes for Judge Kavanaugh, which I signed because it's a, he needs to get approved. And before the elections, there's just loads and loads of VIPs. This guy's got a Trump 2020 Keep America Great. There's um, petitions to support Judge Kavanaugh and try to get Tester to vote for Kavanaugh. There's petitions in fourth of the Second Amendment. 
And there is one other, I think. What was it? Oh, the pro-life one. So those are the three petitions paid for by the Montana Republican Central Committee. Something like that. Yeah, so Matt Rosendale just walked by. Sure, a couple people's hands. And somebody I know was walking with them, one of my good friends from college. So we're almost at the VIP entrance. All right, we're just up to the door. And finally getting some air conditioning on here. Feels so good. This guy's got a pocket knife. All right, they let me in with the, they let me in with the camera. Cool, thank you. Make America Great Again USA. Thank you to our 16, President-elect Trump. Thank you. That's awesome. I can't believe we found each other. <laughs> and you meet me and you meet me in here. Apparently. I just got in. Holy cow. This concession line is out of control. Wow, some lady just said she waited in an hour. Okay guys, so I just I just got a call from my really good friend. I'll see if you got if we can get him on video. He might appreciate this. It looks like he's wearing a University of Montana shirt because it's maroon like the Grizz. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for our great nation, our beloved Big Sky State of Montana, and for safe journeys to be present in this place at this time. To celebrate with our dear President Trump, Senator Steve Daines, Congressman Greg Gianforte and Matt Rosendale, who has his sights on serving Montanans honestly as their next senator, not to forget other government officials here in attendance. The chosen psalm speaks of your voice, dear God, in a great storm, how you give strength and peace to your people. Our country is currently experiencing a great storm of divided voices, Heavenly Father, with some platforms that don't benefit our citizens. We pray that our United States citizens recall that our country began its existence as a union. Although there were many diverse voices then, people worked together to make a strong bond. Americans are a mixed people with different upbringing, diverse neighborhoods, and a mixture of experiences that lead each of us to see issues of life differently. Help our leaders, gracious God, to compromise so that everyone wins. Our President Trump and our Vice President Pence were elected to make America great. We in Montana are realizing they are succeeding. Greatness comes through your peace, gracious God, peace among neighbors, peace in business, peace within our government, peace at school, peace in public places, and peace among the media. We humbly pray that you give America your peace to dwell respectfully, patiently, honestly, and fairly with one another. Finally, we pray for our president. Give him strength to continue day after day, especially in the midst of negativity and a conflict of a broken world. Enable him to reach his dreams to benefit the American public, thus keeping his promises. Strengthen his stamina to continue to serve as he is able. Help him to know that Montana appreciates his service and dedication to America more than he realizes. We pray that Montana senators and congressmen will not get caught up in the ever-present swamp of our nation's capital. 
help honesty and brotherly love weigh heavily on those elected from each state to the Senate and House so that they better serve those who elected them. Finally, we thank President Trump for a second trip to Montana. We pray that more trips are planned to spend time in our extremely beautiful state. We are ever indebted to President Trump's deep-seated support of Matt Rosendale and the people that Mount Ro uh, uh, Mr. Rosendale will serve. Bless our gathering here today. Grant each a safe trip home, especially our gracious president. We pray these things and whatever else you see that we need in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. I just want to thank uh, this great country, the people of Montana, most importantly my family, my, my wife, my son, and my parents for always standing behind me and supporting me in everything I do. And most importantly the men and women who serve this country that have truly sacrificed everything. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To perform our national anthem, Yellowstone County Republican Committee woman, Carrie Crone. This is exciting. I just got to walk where the president's going to walk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me singing the national anthem. <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so bright?
thank God that we get to call Montana home. Isn't that the truth? Woohoo! Yeah! There's something else we can be thankful for as well today. Thank God that Hillary Clinton is not president of the United States. Supreme Court. And let me tell you something. Let's level set what's really going on here. If Nancy Pelosi becomes Speaker of the House, if Chuck Schumer became the Senate Majority Leader, I can guarantee you three things are going to happen. You're going to have more government, you're going to have higher taxes, you're going to have fewer jobs, and that's the truth. That's right! Now listen, we, we here in Montana, we need a senator who will vote for Supreme Court nominees like Justice Gorsuch. Yeah! Woo! We need a Montana senator that is going to vote for Judge Kavanaugh for the United States Supreme Court. Yeah! Can I tell you something without stuttering or hesitation? I'm voting to confirm Judge Kavanaugh for the United States Supreme Court. Yeah! <laughs> Montana needs a senator who will say yes to cutting taxes instead of no. Yeah. Yeah! Montana needs a senator who will fight for your right to keep and bear arms and not to ever take away that right. Montana needs a senator that will work with President Trump to pass term limits, to ban members of Congress from ever becoming a lobbyist. And you know what? If Congress can't balance the budget, they shouldn't get paid. Now let's bring this back home here a little bit as well. How many of you are tired of breathing the smoke during the summertime? Let me tell you something. Montana needs a U.S. Senator who will stop radical environmentalists who are locking us out of our forests so we can stand back and just watch them burn. That's got to end. And this one ought to be a layup. But Montana needs a Senator who's going to fight for coal jobs, not declare war on coal jobs. And Montana needs a senator looking right at you. who's going to secure our borders. Who's going to stop? Who's going to stop the flow of meth and illegal drugs that are pouring across our border right now and destroying communities right here in Montana? That's got to stop. We need to stand with President Trump and build the wall. Tired of all these polls and 
so forth that you see out there. I thought we'd take a poll here today. So let's, let's take a poll. In fact, we'll, do, we'll, we'll turn the applause meters on and check the noise, and we'll see where the public opinion is here tonight in Billings, Montana. Let me ask you this. If the U.S. Senate election were held today, would you vote for Matt Rosendale? Let me hear it. Yeah! I don't think I have to ask the next question on that one. Let me ask you this. If the election for U.S. Congress were held today, how many of you would vote for Congressman Greg Gianforte? Yeah! Uh, I think we got that covered. Now, speaking of Greg Gianforte, I gotta tell you something. Greg is somebody I've known for over 20 years. Greg and Susan Gianforte have four children. Cindy and I have four children. We spent a lot of time raising our kids together, backpacking, hunting, fishing, across many parts of Montana. We raised our kids together, we built a business together, we created jobs together. It's been a dear friend. Let me tell you something, Greg is an outstanding voice. Because in Montana, we only get one member of Congress. And we've got a great one in Greg Gianforte. I love the fact that here's a guy who didn't have a career in politics. He had a career in creating good, high-paying jobs right here in Montana, for which I'm very, very thankful for that. And I'm thankful that I get to serve with a great partner like Greg Gianforte back in Washington, D.C. And it's my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you your Congressman, Greg Gianforte. Give a great round of applause. Hello, Montana! Can we give Steve Daines a round of applause for his service? It's great to be here. Secret Service is going to be here. Who's excited to see President Trump? Yeah! We want Trump! We want Trump! Who's excited about what he's doing to make yeah! America great again? Yeah! Thank God Donald Trump is our president. Yeah! Do you remember where we were? just two years ago. Those were dark days. This president is giving us hope again that the American dream is within our reach. We just came in on Air Force One and I said to the president, Mr. President, on behalf of the people of Montana, thank you for bringing hope back to our country. Because of Donald Trump, our country is more prosperous and more secure. We have more conservatives on our federal courts and on the Supreme Court. How about Brett Kavanaugh? in the face of some obnoxious behavior. Senate Democrats should stop posturing and playing games and vote to confirm this highly qualified candidate to the Supreme Court. But can you imagine if Hillary Clinton were president? Still a little more than a month away from Halloween, but that's pretty scary. We'd go back to a list of failed policies of Barack Obama. We'd have liberal judges who are activists on the bench. We'd certainly have higher taxes. Businesses would be punished by more regulations. The war on coal would still be going on. Our borders would be open. Lock her up! Our economy would not be growing the way it is. America would be stuck on the wrong track. Can you imagine? 
I'll say it again. Thank God Donald Trump is our president. I want to say it is an honor and a privilege to serve as your lone voice back in the U.S. House. Montana only gets one. I take that very seriously. We're getting America back on track. We're making America more prosperous and more secure. Our economy is booming. Republicans' pro-growth, pro-family policies are working. Tax cuts are putting more money in people's pockets. I was in Helena recently, and I heard a story about a single mom raising three kids on her own. Her car didn't work that well. But because we doubled the child tax credit and we doubled the standard deduction, her monthly paycheck went up $400. And it's now a little easier for her to make ends meet. And she's planning on getting a new used car that's reliable so she can get around. Tax cuts are working for Montana small businesses too, right here in Billings. I visited recently Billings Flying Service. They're using the tax cuts to invest in R&D and raise wages. We can't, we can't tax our way to prosperity, opportunity, or the American dream. As Nancy Pelosi would have you believe. We've got to let people keep the fruits of their labor and we've got to peel regulations back so businesses can thrive. Yeah. Cutting taxes and red tape is working for Montana families and Main Street businesses. Our economy is growing at the fastest pace since 2008. Montana's unemployment rate that is at its lowest level in more than a decade. National unemployment is at a 48-year low. For the first time in decades in this country, we have more jobs open than people looking for work. And wages are growing. Montana cannot afford to go back to the failed Obama Pelosi agenda of higher taxes and more regulations. We're also working with President Trump to make America more secure. We must fix our broken immigration system and build the wall. stand with our ICE agents and law enforcement officials to protect our borders and keep our communities safe. Extreme liberal activists want to open borders and to abolish ICE. Can you imagine? These are the folks that confiscated over a million pounds of narcotics at the border last year. They're also the people that arrested last year alone 127,000 criminal aliens. These are people that came into the country illegally and then committed a crime. Murder, kidnapping, burglary, they're in jail and our communities are safer. our military declined under Barack Obama, we're rebuilding it. We gave our troops the largest raise they've had in nine years. And we've increased the size of our armed forces, we're replacing aging equipment, and we can't afford for the Democrats to cut back on our national security. I want to say particularly for all the veterans in the audience tonight, we're going to keep our commitment to you to make sure that you get the health care that you've earned. We're also tackling the public health crisis 
of meth and opioid addiction that's tearing our families and our communities apart. Gangs are pushing drugs, but they're also trafficking people, particularly young women and children. These people are our daughters and granddaughters and sisters. And I'm proud that the House has acted. The Senate acted too, and the President signed legislation to crack down on human trafficking. We're also getting the resources to make our schools safer and more secure. During the Obama years, many people felt the American dream was slipping out of reach. Safer communities and a more secure America, a booming economy are leading to greater opportunity for Montanans and all Americans. The American dream is coming back into reach. So as Steve said, the stakes are really high this November. We can't afford to go back to the failed policies of Obama and Pelosi. President Trump, Steve Daines, and I need a conservative partner in the Senate to continue this winning track record. And I'm humbly asking for your support and for your vote. We need you to knock doors, make calls, and vote for Republicans this November. Thank you, President Trump, for giving us hope again. He's going to be in the House here in a little bit. Let's keep making America more prosperous Trump is in the House. What up, Trump? Thank you to each one of you that has put your trust in me. I'm humbled by that. God bless you, and God bless this United States of Because really what they've done is 
virtually, you know, it's treason, you can call it a lot of things. But the thing that you have somebody in all of the cabinets, so many people, as you know, they came forward, they're writing editorials, they were all saying, you know, it's got to be at a fairly low level, because so many people today, I was just coming out, and I see all the people that are saying such great things. We have a lot of love in the administration, and the White House is truly, as you would say, a well-oiled machine. So they take one person out of thousands, but what's unfair, I don't mind when they write a book and they make lies because it gets discredited. We just discredited the last one. We discredited all of them because it's lies. But I, I tell you, when somebody writes and you can't discredit because you have no idea who they are, usually you'll find out it's a background that was bad. It may not be a Republican. It may not be a conservative. It may be a deep state person that's been there a long time. You don't know where. It's a very unfair thing. But it's very unfair to our country and to the millions of people that voted really for us. They voted for we us. love you, Trump! Yeah. Another issue in this crowd that is often fired up about is the wall. A few of you may have. I have a lot of great Republicans. We need Republicans elected in the And we are getting the wall done, but I've had so many people, good people, great people, they'd rather not do it before, they'd rather do it right after the election. They don't want to do anything to upset the apple cart. And my inclination, if it was up to me, I'd shut down government over border security. It is up to me, but I don't want to do anything that's going to hurt us or potentially hurt us because I have a feeling that the Republicans are going to do very well. We have the strongest economy we've ever had. I think we're going to do really well in the business. Yeah. So, most likely, I will not do that, but we're going to do it immediately after the election. I have the commitment from Mitch McConnell, from Paul Ryan, from everybody. We do it right after the election where hopefully, frankly, it'll be easy because we'll have more Republicans, not less. Get it done, Trump! Boo, I think you should force it before the election. It'll be an exciting day, I can tell you that. Nothing will be as exciting as our day. Almost two years ago. Can you imagine? Almost, almost two years ago. So we're going to get the wall. We've already started the wall, and uh, we'll, we'll continue on. Uh, Mr. President, tonight is the first NFL game. You have to stand for the national anthem. In fact, they have some which is you will stand, you will have the helmet on the ground and the hand on the heart. <laughs> I don't know why they're not enforcing it. And in cases when they don't have it, you know, they had a new thing where they don't have to do that, you don't have to kneel, you can go back into the locker room. I think that's worse than kneeling in a certain way. That shows that you just have no respect for the anthem of the flag. I don't like what Nike did. I don't think it's appropriate what they did. I honor the flag 
I honor our national anthem. And most of all, what's happening, uh, you see what's going on, and with Canada, and with Mexico, and with different places. Trudeau, stop! If we get along with China, if we get along with Russia, if we get along just a little while ago, a very nice thing that came out from North Korea, you probably saw that. By the way, you won't read that in the papers, because what is nice, you know, Kim Jong-un said very nice things. He said we want to get denuclearization during the Trump administration. Just in the press is actually incredible. But in the meantime, we're winning, folks. Be happy, because we're winning. Yeah. Yeah. get them all as much of the crowd as I can because we're about to start. So this place is about packed. Probably about 10,000, easily 10,000 or more people here. Just said, please welcome the President Trump. Woo! USA! 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 
USA, 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 USA. Hello, Montana. This is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. There's no place like a Rosendale rally. Forget the Trump. Rosendale. But there is no place like a Trump rally, right? We have to be <laughs> And in the election, we won this state by a lot. That was not close. But I am thrilled to be back in Big Sky Country with so many of my great friends and true American patriots. Thank you. From the Rocky Mountains to the Great Plains, the people of Montana love our country, love our country so much. They honor our values, and you always respect our great American flag. You see what's happening. We have the best economy in history. The stock market is at record highs. Unemployment is at historic lows. And more Americans are working today than ever, ever, ever before. That's a great step, isn't it? Think of it. More Americans today. And it grows every week. Every week it gets higher and higher. But more Americans are working today than have ever worked before in our country. It's a great step. It's a big step. Our coal miners are back to work. And we are fighting every day for our great ranchers and loggers and farmers. And we're winning that fight and we're winning it quickly. We're rebuilding our military, crushing the terrorists, and taking care of our veterans. Yeah! We were informed and learned last night that the NRA has endorsed my campaign. secure our border, enforce our laws, and build that wall. like you, isn't it? <laughs> but the problem is he's never going to vote for me. He's not going to vote. But he's taken more cash from lobbyists than almost anyone in the entire Senate. Mm. He's controlled by his donors. One of the saddest things I've seen is when John Tester and what he did to a great, great man, Admiral Ronnie Jackson. Folks, I just left the Trump rally. That was pretty awesome. He was just starting to wrap up. So I didn't necessarily want to stay all the way till the end just because of traffic and 
trying to get my way out of there and everything like that so I just busted out but it was, it's like 8 20 now so I was I was in there for almost four hours got to hear all the Montana people speak got to hear Trump speak for about 45 minutes 50 minutes it was awesome I was gonna get some of this stuff over here how much are the hats? $20. All right, folks. So I just bought a bunch of stuff. I just bought like I bought three hats and a T-shirt. So it's whatever. Um, I don't even know if these are if these are like official official memorabilia. I don't think they are. I think like the authorized stuff is inside. I don't know though. But it's whatever. They're cheaper than they were online. So I, I picked up a couple hats. I'm gonna probably give them away as gifts and stuff like that. So we'll see. I'm glad to have them though. Got a Trump, got a Trump Pence 2020 t-shirt, which I think is cool. And then I got a Make America Great Again hat and then red hat. And then I got a Keep America Great red hat so that's it i'm gonna head home and get go live on twitch my twitter blew up i tweeted out a picture of the route and it got like 300 400 likes and like 100 retweets and stuff so that was pretty cool um so that's the end of the vlog hope you guys enjoyed seeing the trump rally in millions montana in september 2018 through the eyes of my vlog check it out Peace.